his head, and there he goes. Abyss gonna clean him up. Olaf goes down. Everyone's just gonna line up here for Lazzy. He's gonna find himself the Quadra. I give it to him. It's a kill. Grizzly with the quad feet gets the ace. Available just spin to win all over. That game was insane. Hello, 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 everybody, and welcome to St. Clair Saints Valorant. My name is Jackson the Bride Brown, and I'll be one of your hosts here for this evening. Joined alongside Donka J. Donka here tonight. And we have a great matchup here tonight. Butler University versus St. Clair College. St. Clair currently sitting at a 3-1 and one record, where Butler currently at a 2-2. Two and two. So, overall, just looking at record-wise, I mean, looks like we got a pretty even match on our hands here tonight. Jay, how are you feeling about this one? Oh, I'm feeling great. Like, on paper, it should be, like, close, I believe. Yeah. And... I just want to see a great match. Yeah, I, I completely agree. I want to see a close one on paper. You know, one of those St. Clair's three wins is a forfeit win. So, at the end of the day, like, it is like, okay, they've really only played those three games or whatnot. So, uh, they are looking at very similar records, like you were saying. And we are expecting a very even matchup here tonight. And uh, this best of three series in NECC. So, I'm very excited for this one. Uh, but with that being said, I mean, the St. Clair roster, they've seen a little bit of hiccups here in these past couple games. But they've managed to pull through. They're so far 7-1 and one in maps in their division at NECC. Uh, only, or sorry, no, they're 7-2. and two, Only dropping two there to the side of U Ottawa, I believe it was. And, uh, you know, they were able to still pick up a map win on UAuto, which is the number one team in their division. So, overall, as of now, St. Clair, they're not doing too, too terrible by any means necessary. And I think they should have a pretty good run here against Butler tonight, but it's going to be neck and neck. Yeah, like I said, it should be like a very close match. We are all excited over here from the production team, and we just want to see like them just go on head-to-head, toe-to-toe. Yeah, I couldn't agree with you more than that one there. So prediction-wise, honestly, like this one's so, so tough. Um, I might have to say the Saints will take it maybe and like a very, very close overtime game three, something like that. Like these games are actually going to be nuts. I'm expecting a lot from both teams here tonight. And uh, if both teams bring their A game, I mean, it's going to be a blood battle. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go against that. It's going to be a very close game. Don't get me wrong. It's going to be overtime like the the third match but you uh, BU will take it yeah i mean butler a great squad here nonetheless right so very excited to see how they're going to play we do have the three maps here real quick and uh if i could just get those in my ears real quick just a quick reminder and i can get, bring those to you guys and we got bind icebox and then haven so icebox something that we haven't really seen throughout this regular season kind of it's been i think i saw it in preseason maybe once or twice but uh with that being said i mean it's something that you know the guys might not be so so practiced on and we might see a little bit of new strats and whatnot or if it's something they've been scrimming a lot lately that's something i'm very excited to see happen luckily we do have it mapped too so we're actually guaranteed to see that one play out yeah they have never played in like icebox like you said yeah yeah it's it's gonna be it's either gonna be very good or very bad <laughs> yeah i mean and we're gonna find out we do have the operator select here now for this game number one and with that being said casper jrc wombat v camp and blossom will be your st Clair saints here for tonight and if you look over on the side of butler your roster will be icy the lemonade man g force deathless and firsty so uh, I mean, very excited for this one. Bind, it looks like we will have the Saints on the attacking side of things here first. And attacking side for St. Clair has been something that I've been a little skeptical of so far throughout this season. So I'd like to see, you know, that turn around here a little bit here today and uh, just continue for them to find some decent attacking round wins. Because if they can even just have like a 6-6 six, six scoreline here after this attack, so like I think they clean up this game, no problems. Yeah, like they like in the beginning uh, of this season, I believe like they were very good in attacking, and then they switched. They became good in defending. Hopefully, this in this map we see a very even match. Yeah, we'll see in just a moment there. So all the characters getting finalized out here. And yeah, so Yoru, a character that we don't see too often actually come through and get played here, especially in collegiate, you know, like I know there's some players actually down uh, at some other schools and whatnot that are like really cracked out Yorus, but just because the fact that they're Yoru main means it's tougher for them to get a spot on a team. So to see two Yorus come out of play here and one of which actually from Casper is actually crazy for me to see. And I'm very excited to see this one actually come to light. And we are going to be getting underway here now, 35 seconds away 
away from game time just in the buy phase here right now everyone's getting their pistol buys and whatnot but with that being said st Clair gonna have a big attacking round underway yeah, as you can see over here, um, looks like uh, SCC is buying uh, Frenzies, the classic, you know, uh, Ghost and um, Light Shields on the classic. Yeah, for sure. And I mean, it's pretty standard, right? I mean, these pistol buys, there's not a whole lot you can really go wrong with buy-wise. Um, you know, everything's going to be useful to you at some way or another. So we'll see what happens here in just a second. As this now will officially get underway, the gates will be getting lifted. And we are going to be getting in to round number one. St. Clair looking like they want to focus up over towards this A site. And, uh, I mean, let's see how it goes. The Sage Wall already going to be slowing them down here a little bit. Wombat going to be challenging from showers. That Shock Dart might make a connection onto Icy, but I don't believe it did. Yeah, they're, uh, they're pushing the site, and they're holding the site pretty good, uh, on the BU side of the map. A Casper JRC finding some nice picks there. VK cleans up another, and that's four down already for the side of St. Clair. Last one alive is going to be the Omen being Lemonade Man. He's going to be having to force to rotate over through this, you know, defending side, and everybody's kind of ready for him here. All the intel in the world is there for these players now. Omen at 13 HP. They should have no problems cleaning this one up, and just like that, Casper will do just that. And uh, St. Clair with the flawless round went on the attacking side with the plant down. This is going to result in Butler being absolutely broke here right now and St. Clair with like pretty loaded money wise and uh, I mean they should have no problems cleaning up the second round yeah especially that they have buy right now and as you can see that's now it's more common that they buy like full shields on the second round yeah I mean second round I think if you always force second round unless something what just happened to Butler happened there for them right now uh, like you know the only way you don't force second round is if you don't get any kills no money nothing like that or if you only get like one kill something along those lines I I think forcing second round is something that we need to see a little bit more of here actually but um, it's going to be the St. Clair guys. Yeah, like you were saying, like actually using all of their money here on the second round to buy these specters and armor. And they really just want to close this one out. They do not want to let these classics do anything. So uh, we'll see what happens. But Wombat with a great little drone there. And this is just baiting some rotations over to B when there's actually a main focus is over towards A. Casper and Wombat clean up the first couple picks. Yeah, they already have the site. They baited on B, I believe. And uh, as Casper was pushing A and he cleared A and he told his squad, hey, let's go A, it's clear. Yeah, they drew over the rotations on the B. It really helped them open up this site here now. And now it's all just about sending the stars down, holding it, and getting your post plants. And this is all looking pretty good. Casper really almost connecting on some of those shots just through that smoke. And now he has all that intel as he does hear some shots there. Cleans up one already. That's actually going to be JRC cleaning up Lemonade Man. Now the push from Casper finds another last player alive. Will be up there in the smoke. Cleaned up from Casper as well. 3k from him. And that's a 2-0 lead now for St. Clair. And the Yoru coming to light fairly well so far for Casper. Yeah, the, the Yoru, you're either just throwing the game or you're just so good. Mm -hmm. And I believe that's how he's Casper uh, is feeling right now. Yeah, for sure. I mean, Yoru, it's been a character that I've actually, like, okay, I've seen more lately than I have before. Like, obviously still a very oddball character to come out and select here. But I've seen more of it lately than, uh, you know, the, the past couple weeks or the past month or so, whatnot. And with that being said, round number three getting underway. Both teams will have buys. Uh, it's actually going to be Butler with rifles and St. Clair still with the majority of SMGs. So could actually see Butler have like a massive upper hand buy wise here. But great start there. That's going to be Casper and VK and clean up three, only allowing one for G Force. That should be B site completely free for the taking. And St. Clair starting off this round number three phenomenally. Yeah, they uh, they killed them and they took all the rifles. Now they they should have enough rifles and enough weapons to just control the map. Now they they are now head to head uh, against uh, BU. Yeah, they have all the intel right now. Like, they know Firsty's over here. They also know that the other player is over towards this B main side of things. Because that Yoru, he gathered so much intel. And that's where Yoru can be a little bit beneficial. But these stars are making it so difficult for Butler to push. And uh, it's going to be Butler looking like they're falling off to save their rifles here. And this is going to be yet another St. Clair round picked up. And they're having a great start to this game. Something I really wasn't, you know, a typical. Like, I wasn't anticipating seeing something like this dominant come to light already for St. Clair. They're having a great great run so far yeah they're just enjoying themselves they're like yeah we got this easy we're just gonna use the insane specter you've been telling me about specter 
man, like, <laughs> the Spectre's actually cracked out. Like, if you get in close range gunfights, like, they just were in B, right? They rushed up that B long, and they caught all those players out in Garden. And there were uh, such a close range gunfights. They have three Spectres. Those bullets shoot off so quick. If you connect on headshots and stuff, too, like, you can clean up players, like, astronomically quick. And you see it come to light just like there. And now St. Clair searching to pick up a fourth, potentially. You will see the side of Butler. They are going to, like, light by kind of around those two rifles that were saved. So we see a Spectre and two Sheriffs come to play. Uh, Butler, this is a winnable round, but it's not going to be easy, considering now St. Clair having rifles in hand. Yeah, SEC is not really wor worried right now. Even if they lose this round, they have enough to buy for the next one, the one after, probably. Oh, yeah, I, I agree, right? Casper already opening us up on the Yoru pick, so it's going to be Yoru versus Yoru. Casper, though, he's been showing that, uh, you know, his Yoru is a little bit more dominant. He's gotten, he, he's lighting it up with that Yoru so far, and that's going to actually be Casper getting shot down, though. First, he, his position does get revealed, and he does get peppered down a little bit HP-wise, but with that being said, uh, that's going to be St. Clair getting this plant down. The slow grenades are here, though. That's going to be Blossom kind of stuck. Ooh, he still finds one, though. Uh, I believe their omen accidentally went through the TP. Oh, no. Yeah, their omen did. Their omen's way over a B. Now, he's forced to rotate, but that is like, so, so long to rotate over all the way through spawn, and he will finally be able to slowly start making it here, but, like, I mean, it, that going through that TP might have just lost him that round. Yeah, as you can see right now, uh, omen's pu uh, pushing through U-Haul. There's one pick for the side of Butler. There's another from Lemonade Man. So now all up to VCAN. VCAN's in a really good position, though, to just play time on this bomb. He knows that's all he has to do here right now. None of them are actually sticking it. And he will find the one. They know they can't clean it up. G-Force will find the kill, but it doesn't really matter. G-Force will make it out this life, but uh, the rounds are what matters, right? It's, you know, you do get to keep one gun. Yes, that is nice for the side of Butler, but St. Clair being up 4-0 is really you know, something that you do not like to see if you are from the side of Butler. Yeah, as you can see, like they have they have plenty of money to play around right now. They're they're just like, okay, where do we want where do we want to rush? If we yep. die, what is it? They get like guns, like they already have guns. The only one who really isn't doing like crazy well financially is Cast. Uh, sorry, Wombat, just because he has have one more death than the others. Uh, but for the side of Butler, I mean, G4 seems to be as so far the only player that's really able to do a whole lot, uh, just looking at pure stat lines wise. So we'll see what happens here in just a second. But Butler, they're having a, a decent hold here on some of these sites. And like, I like this Sage Wall from them, right? It really does slow down the St. Killer push as well as those raise grenades. Um, it's just we got to see like the finalization. So do see a little bit of a nice setup here. And there is a uh, player from the side of Butler actually fairly pushed up in mid too, trying to catch some players if there is a rotate that does come through. Yeah, it looks like that he's stuck in the TP. He doesn't know where they're pushing, so he doesn't want to come out right now. He just want to attack them by surprise. Yeah, so everybody's here still alive. Uh, this Butler hold looks a little stronger than it did in the previous round. So this is definitely their time to chime. These Astro Stars are down. We do get that intel. Now VCAN going to take out Icy, but Deathless with the Judge going to clean up JRC. Now the rotation is here from St. Clair. B site free for the take against. Butler is all on A. They're forced to run through CT. Now Casper, he has this lockdown on hold. He's at 150 HP. He will fall off. Does spot a little bit of intel. Trying to find some blind shots, but nothing going to connect. Yeah, Astra. Astra's one kill away from having uh, their ult. Yeah, so th this setup, look at this. This it just allows them to just spray through all these at stars and whatnot. And Lemonade win will find one on Blossom there. But now in a one on three, this Sage got to seriously consider saving. But that's not going to be a possibility when Casper is going for a knife. Here it is. And there it is. Casper going to clean up Deathless from behind there. Nice little knife from Casper. You know what? I want to I wanna go see Casper's skins. How much, how much value do you think is in his skins? I was talking to him the other day about it. And I'm pretty sure it's around a couple thousand dollars. Oh, yeah. I, I'm, not, <laughs> I'm not surprised by any means there. So, Casper, uh, going to come through. Nice knife kill there. He's 9-1. I mean, we were talking about this Yoru kind of when during that select, right? And now we see him currently sitting here 9-1. And, and there you're 0-5. Oh, and, and you said it. You said it five rounds ago. Euros either pop off or they have a little bit of a rough game. And Icy, he's not able to, you know, fully capitalize on that Yoru as of now. Uh, but it, it's the vice versa for Casper. I mean, Casper really making great use out of this. A lot of intel gained from that drone, and now can they capitalize on it? Wombat, great dart. It's going to force that player off, but that same with that grenade from the raise there. So, uh, equally putting out some util. Let's see what happens. As we can see, BU right now is uh, rotating back to A. 
they have Omen kind of see on B. Oh, never mind. He's rotating back. They're just they just want to hold the set that they're planning on. Now AC a nice share of kill, but that is going to be one that finding one. But the flash going to get G Force a kill. Now a two on three, still in favor of Saint Clair. And this kill could be big. Casper finding that one. Blossom finding the other, and that's going to be Saint Clair now taking their six. And you know. I, I love our overtime game three prediction here now is it looks like it's slowly falling apart. St. Clair is, I, I, okay, I was about to say St. Clair's peaking. I don't know if I want to say St. Clair's peaking, but they're playing very well right now. Yeah, don't jinx them. No. Don't, don't, don't do that. <laughs> Casper, Casper is farming this lobby. Like, I mean, Casper right now, it doesn't seem like, like he's just having fun right now. You can definitely see it right now. Casper just sitting here. He's like, all right, let's just get this dub. Let's go home, boys. But as of now, I mean, he's having a great game so far. One death on those 11 kills is crazy. Yeah, they're going to be pushing B right now. While they, uh, BU has two players on site that are on A that they can probably just go through the TP and catch uh, GRC off guard. Yeah, Casper actually going to take a little bit of damage there. And I see in G-Force pick up a couple picks. Do we see Butler finding their first one here? Now in a three on five. It's going to be very difficult for St. Clair. They do have a couple players take down. Now JRC actually falling as well. Butler finally looking like they're going to answer back here. And they're looking like uh, they're forming up in shape fairly nice. G-Force finds a lot. And that's actually... Okay. How does Butler go from not winning a round to flawlessing one? Like, I, like what? It's like, okay, the tables have turned. Butler, that will gather them some momentum, gathers them some economy. That is so much more beneficial to their team here now. And uh, it's really coming well nicely. But the thing is, do you win that round if G-Force doesn't get a 3k? That's the thing. Because G-Force, as of now, is the only one positive on that roster. Well, yeah, but I mean, same, kind of same with Casper. Like the first two rounds, uh, the first round he got two kills. Second round he got three kills. I mean, for sure, for sure. Yeah. Well, we'll see what happens though, nonetheless. And here we are, round number eight, getting underway. Saint Clair currently leading by five. And it does look like the pressure, once again, going to be focused over towards A. We see a lot of this A pressure, and it's been working. I don't blame St. Clair. They tried to go B last round, and they took their first round loss. It doesn't. It makes complete sense that they're back on A. Yeah, I mean, if they want to rotate, if they can easily Ooh. rotate. Nice shots, but Lemonade Man actually going to answer back with two G-Force. Use the ult, finds one first. He finds one as well. The defense is starting to lock and load. They are... Really starting to find their groove here now. And Icy, he's starting to pick up the first couple of his kills. You know, he's found a kill last round and the round before that. So Icy, when he, it seems as if when he picks up a kill, they win the round. So let's see if that, you know, that trend continues. But as of now, St. Clair looking to change up their position here a little bit. Looks like they're going to put more focus on mid. It's something they haven't done a crazy amount this game. So uh, I'm interested to see how this one's going to go. Yeah, if you if your team, if each member of your team gets one kill, even if they get one kill and then they die, You'd eventually win the game. Yep, exactly. And oh, Firsty. This is definitely scary. And that is honestly a waste of an ult that, that St. Clair drew out very well. And that, you know, Ray's ult is honestly one of the best ults in the game, in my personal opinion. Like, obviously, Jet's Knives up there as well. Things like that. Uh, Sage's res, all of that. But the the rocket launcher just has such a good blast radius and has such a good, like, you know, like, rate of kill. So, uh, we'll see. But that's going to be this one. And this is how you use it. JRC takes one down. Wombat finds one as well. Now in a two-on-two. Two, and St. Clair have control of sight. That's the big thing. They have full control of sight. They have time to get the spike implant and get post plants before Butler's even on the rotation. Yeah, even Sova. He has his all. He can just play for his all. He's like, I'm just waiting. Oh, this drone is really good, though. It's going to completely gather all of Blossom's intel that they need, and they know where the other player is on post plants now as well. So, uh, you know, the intel is there for Butler. Can they use it to their advantage? That's the question. Both of them going to be coming through from this defending side. That uh, drone dart will uh, really gather some intel. That shock dart going to get Blossom down to 1 HP, but keeps his life. Now a 2v1. G-Force finds the first one. G-Force, he's been one of the better players here throughout this game, but that's Wombat. Lines up the angle, shuts it down. St. Clair picking up their seventh. Yeah, they were like, you know what? They got two rounds. We were going, you know, a bit easy, I'd say. And like, you know what? Let's get, let's get it back. 
Yeah, one thing I do want to point out though, Casper hasn't found a kill in the past three rounds, so it looks like he might be slowing down here a little bit on the Euro, or Butler is really picking up on his tricks and whatnot, and what he's been doing to really open up these rounds and finding these entry frags, but... Uh, with that being said, St. Clair, like we were saying, leading by five, heading into round number 10 here. There's not that many rounds remaining on the half, and Butler needs as many of them as they can get. They're going on to the attacking side, the side that's not as favored, I'd say, here on this map. And um, down, you know, up two rounds, even if they win out of the rest of this half, it's going to make things tough on Butler. But uh, let's see what they can do. Casper, though, going to find one early, as well as another member on St. Clair, putting it into a 5 on 3. That's that's insane. He was blinded. <laughs> yeah, I I see picking up a big one there. I see. I mean, hey, the, the trend, man. I see finds a kill in the round and they win it. So we'll see if the trend stays up. But uh, it's gonna be JRC looking for one there. He does pot up the Yoru, I believe, and they know that this is the last player left. Yoru, what are you gonna do, I see? What can you do in this situation? He's just running for his life, trying to make his way out. He does find V can. This does make it somewhat winnable. But his health is just what's such a concern. This bomb being down, I mean, it, the hope was just there. He had a miracle if he was going to win that one. But Wombat going to clean it up. St. Clair going to be up now 8-2. Only two rounds remain in the half. And if Butler even just win both of those two, an 8-4 half is still not great. So Butler uh, not in a great position right now, but really looking to turn things around. I mean, we've seen it with uh, St. Clair. They went 3-9 and nine on like the first half. And then the second half, they just brought it back. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely workable, right? That's the thing, because that's one thing about, you know, games like Valorant and, you know, CSGO, even Call of Duty Search and Destroy. One side can have such an advantage over another, right? Where it's like, okay, like, y y you can be down so much, but you switch sides, and next thing you know, you can regain all those rounds. Don't know what VCAM was looking up, but he will lose his life early to an aggressive rush, and same with Blossom. And the aggressiveness is actually going to be paying off so far from the side of Butler. Now in a three on four, Deathless is actually also going to res Firsty, but JRC going to find Deathless there now. They know Firsty's around here because the res just came off, so Casper cleans that one up. Now a three on two for St. Clair, and they were down a player just a moment ago. This is a great turnaround, but Icy will take down JRC now 2v2. Yeah, the best defense is offense, or in their case, the opposite way around. They were able to get a couple of kills by going uh, uh, offense instead of defense. Yeah, so now, this is pretty interesting, like you were saying, you do see the attacking side on the defending side, and you see the defending side on the attacking side of things, a little bit abnormal of a setup, uh, but these darts are really going to reveal a lot of this information, and Casper, he is weak, but he's here, he does spot a 1, that player was flashed as well, the Wombat's going to have to do a lot now, and a 1 on 2, and he can't do it from that position, Icy will clean up the picks, and that is going to be Butler picking up a 3rd as we head into our last round of half. Yeah, it's like really interesting like how the thought of the best, you know, offense can sometimes just be defense. Oh, and sure. Last round in the, the, uh, the rush is definitely a uh, big impact here, right? So, I mean, it's, if a defending side can come through and rush and just, you know, cause a little bit of mayhem, that's the thing that when you rush on a defending side, it's more about causing mayhem, getting it chaotic, making the attacking side just their whole strat go out the window. And that's what really getting aggressive on the defending side is useful for, and it really looked like it worked there. So now, heading into the final round, just like as we were saying, it does result in St. Clair having to force by a bit of things here, like Sheriff coming out from Vcan. Like, obviously, that's not ideal, uh, but it's what they're going to have to make do with right now. Yeah, especially that it's the last round, like you mentioned. Like they cannot, they, they cannot save for the next round type of thing. No, they cannot indeed. So, drone darts coming out, gathering themselves a little bit of information here. Wombat gonna have his drone out as well, just trying to find some sort of information with that. And it will be actually icy taking down Wombat there through some smoke. And Casper also gonna be hanging around here. He's also going to be tagged down a little bit. So four on five. He does find one. He is just gonna be chasing the Yoru down. But the Yoru gonna head way back to where he came from. Now a four on four. Yeah, we can see the bomb is actually on A and not on B. And yeah, it, Casper's been great at baiting out, uh, you know, rotations. But it doesn't look like it's gonna work too much now because we do see I see the Yoru for Butler actually heading over to this A side. So it's gonna be like a three on three here now, four on three actually. And uh, it's going to be Deathless, though, with that first one there. JRC will answer backs, takes out the Icy, and that's actually going to be B set a little bit more open here now. But Omen over there as well, going to result in Lemonade Man cleaning up Casper. Now in a three on two. Lemonade Man, they know he's on B. 
Um, they know the other two probably on A here. First D, they're not going to predict this close angle from him. And that's going to result in First D finding a kill. Can JRC find the refrag? Yes, he does. Now a one versus two. All up to JRC. They know where he is. The Omen has been TPing all over. And no, no, not anticipating the Sage there. Deathless cleans it up. Great round from Butler. They really turned around that first half of the game. Yeah, like you were mentioning, 4-8. I mean, it was 6-0. It was 6-0 for St. Yeah. Clair. They turned it to 8-4. That's a successful end of the the second half of the first half. Successful. Yeah, like, it's it's always winnable until the, until you lose, you know? For sure. Completely agreed with you on that one. So now an 8-4 half, St. Clair will be heading on to the defending side of things. Now, how can they do here? This is one thing. I want to see Butler do what Casper did. Bait out rotations. Because I think that's what Butler's going to need to do to really win a lot of these rounds from St. Clair is to bait out rotations. Uh, we do see an early B push, which does scare me for if you are from the side of St. Clair. Because it's a A stack right now from St. Clair. Only one player over here towards B, and it is going to be the Sova. And it looks like he's going to be running mid. Yeah, like there. See again with the best uh, offense is defense, or the other way around. <laughs> For sure, Casper and the Sova though being Wombat gonna gather this intel now, knowing that players most likely over here near B. They do see Util come out, and this should be the uh, contest trying to come through here now. The smoke's gonna be big. V can on a flank finds the Sova being G Force. He's the top breaker for Butler. Taking him out of this round is crucial. And Icy gonna answer back with one on a Blossom. But V can the right clicks. Get him a 3k. Now Casper on site finds the Sage. Cleans that one up. And it's all up to the Rays. Dead as well now. St. Clair gonna pick up a ninth, Winning the pistol. And honestly, I was expecting Butler to win that at the very beginning of the round. Because Butler has five people over there. St. Clair have one. But Sinclair, they got Casper over there to help out. The V can got around on a flank, and Sinclair played that perfectly. They clean up that B site. The retake was immaculate, and it's now going to be a 9 to 4 scoreline. Casper is not slowing down by any time soon. And JRC and Wombat really keeping themselves in the, uh, you know, in the ring with them. Yeah, they're, they're always like, like over there right now. If we go on A, like. Do you see them just holding that and just waiting? Oh, we have an instant replay. Yeah, so we do actually see the side of V can get that nice little one on the G Force, and it does result in Icy getting a refrag. But V can does answer back with two of his own here now, and it is just gonna be a nice little shots there on the one. But I mean, that was just beautifully executed retake. Love the instant replays. Glad we have those implemented here now. Just so we can get a second look at those nice plays come through. I especially love it in games like Valorant. You know, we get a little bit of downtime here now. We can talk about it, break down something a little bit more, and uh, it really works out well. So, unlucky timing there for the Saints. They're not going to catch Firsty getting a crest up on here on Casper. But Casper finds it no problem. Five on four for St. Clair. Looks like that they might be pushing... Oh, the bomb is A. Oh, Blossom. Oh, my goodness. Going to bait out that uh, orb kind of pop. And he does find a couple frags with that, leaving it all up to the Omen and the Yoru from Icy. But, I mean, Icy going to take down Casper. So, another. I feel like we've seen a lot of Yoru versus Yoru gunfights here. And it's going to be Icy that wins that one. Yeah. And everyone's with the Spectres. In my yeah. opinion, at this point, the most broken gun in the game. <laughs> this Spectre, for for its price point in the game, is so good. $1,600 for that gun is crazy, right? So, good stuff there. But here we are now. Butler is still down two players in this. And they kind of have to get this spike where JRC and Casper can kind of just lock this. Sorry, JRC and Co. can kind of just lock this one down. There's one pick already. They know this where this other one is. They raise grenade. Going to force him out here a little bit. They force that push. And JRC cleans it up with a ghost. That's a 3k for him. St. Clair adding on a 10th. You can see them down there. <laughs> They're all just fist and bumping. They're like, yeah, that, that that we did very good teamwork over there. And that was just good. Just absolutely just... Just fun times, you know? Oh, 100%. So, Icy still doing a lot. Actually, no, no, no. What do I mean still doing a lot? Icy started off 0-5 and 12-12. and 12 and 12. I I'd really just want to point that out. The Yoru's looking like they're farming the attacking side. Like, Icy's been doing good on the attack. And uh, Casper did very well on the attack as well. The Yoru's looking like they've been very successful, you know, being entry fraggers. Yeah, it looks like that Casper might be pulling the good old... Shotgun over here. It's a one pump to the dome. 
Oh, it, it's such a strong gun, and he has the position for it. Look at where all those players are right now. They have no clue Casper's here right now, I believe. Casper, he will find one now, so they know the intel's there. Uh, but taking out first, he's a great start. Is Sova going to be tagged down? Sage will heal him up for the side of Butler. Now it's going to be Icy finding Vcan. So four on four, Icy still playing great on this attacking Yori. Looks like the uh, Butlers are now pushing on to B. They, I believe they got B. They're yeah. playing the bomb, yeah. It's going to be a retake. Now, Force for St. Clair. Blossom's going to be from this defending side. Casper's going to be coming up from Heaven. Lemonade's intel did just get revealed, and they do know that Wombat is also over there headed towards Elbow. So let's see what they can do. Casper trying to find some blind shots to the smoke. They do take down one player. One Last two are going to be in Garden. And the Sage going to get spotted out in there. It is Casper 2 with the shoddy. St. Clair going to pick up an 11th. And it's getting to a point now where it's going to be like Butler having to like win like a crazy amount of consecutive rounds to close this one out. Oh, yeah. I mean, if they don't even win this round, it's not all hopes lost. There's no two more maps. There's, there's two more. Oh, yeah. There's two more maps, and there's still two more rounds that St. Clair need to get to even close this one out. So still lots of time for Butler to make something happen. And um, I'm honestly going to assume that this is like St. Clair's map pick and the ice box is Butler's map pick. That's my assumption. Uh, just yeah. based on like from watching Saints so far this season, I don't think I'd be hearing Saints pick Icebox, but we'll see. Nonetheless, um, Butler though, uh, I'd expect I'm expecting a closer scoreline next game. Obviously, like we were saying, this one's not over quite yet. But at this point in the game, next game, I think we're gonna see a lot closer to a scoreline. V can getting super aggressive on the defending side. Hey, say it again if you want, Donka. Yeah, I mean the best. Offense is no the best the defense is the offense. Yeah. Yep. There we go. So it's gonna be a four on three though for Butler. Now three on three as one but finds one, but Icy gonna trade it out. Now a two on three retake for St. Clair. Casper once again with the shotgun. This is not gonna be the ideal weapon of choice in this retake case scenario. Let's see what he can do with it. He's just trying to find a good way to like get into like the site or something, find a gun. So we will know there's a gun back here. He does pick that one up. He does get a phantom, making this a little bit more winnable for him. Now, what is JRC doing in the process? He's going to be looking to come in here through Heaven. And uh, nobody in Heaven, so he does make it through. But the ice wall there, that's going to make things a little bit tough. Jacob Hasper, though, will open us up onto one. And that grenade should blow up that wall majority of it, at least. There we go. Now, what can they do off that? There's another pick, and they know where the Yoru is. Yoru, he, that was a very 200 IQ Yoru pop. Yeah, Yoru just goes on, on top now. Ooh. Yeah, uh, uh, Casper just kills Icy. Does he have the time? Oh, he has plenty yeah. of time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's got plenty of time. So that is going to be the defuse coming through. Actually, uh, I guess only a second and a half. Not yeah. not plenty, but there it is. The defuse going to come through. St. Clair picking on the 12th. Uh, they shouldn't have won that retake. Uh, Butler, that was Butler's round to win. I mean, Casper had a shotgun. He had to go find a gun and then retake. And then you also do have JRC there, uh, you know, not in a, or VCAN. What was it, VCAN? Either way, VCAN. yeah, VCAN. Not in, like, ideal positioning where the post planes were there from Butler. It should have been cleaned up for them. Yeah, I mean, even, like, that, that was, like, close, that 1.38. But before, they had a match where, uh, I believe, Saints lost with 0 0.17 seconds left. Milliseconds. Yep. Yeah, I remember. I do remember. And uh, St. Clair now on match point. Only needing one more to close this one out. And they look like they want to do it now. Casper opening us up on a G-Force. And I'm actually pretty surprised to see both these Yorus still at the top of the leaderboard for each side. Um, you know, something that we talked about already uh, isn't a very picked character. And coming through here and top fragging for both sides is crazy. Might see it more in the rest of the series, but we'll find out. Blossom on the flank is massive. Finds one, finds a second. The lineup's there. Almost the third onto Lemonade, man. Now putting it to a player advantage for the Saints. They also, oh my god, what a 200 IQ wall break from Casper. That is why he's radiant. I would never ever think about that, and I'm only plat. Yeah, I, I mean, hey, you, you, it's such a hard thing to think about. Like, you know, there is even like, you know, you, you see immortal players that, you know, not going to think about that sometimes. And now we're 2 on 2. Health is in favor of St. Clair, but it is the Sage that is tagged down. So the Sage will be healing right now or momentarily. Uh, yeah, just 15 seconds away seconds from that left. one. But do you have time to wait out for your heal? I don't know. And it's not anymore, especially when Wombat spots you. Takes you down to 19. Like, this is going to be super tough. The Sage barely making it across. They had to TP off. And this is looking like it's going to go B. Casper going to be the player to watch. Or not Casper, sorry. Yeah. Uh, can yeah. Vcan finds the one with the drone because Sage was so weak. The drone kills it. And now Vcan in a 1v1. The spike is stuck here. 
And it's all up to the Omen to come and do this. The Omen, where is it going to be located? It is not possible. That is going to be St. Clair winning this one. That is game one in the hands of St. Clair in this best of three series. We're getting ready to head over to Icebox, but what a game from the Saints. A much more dominant performance than I anticipated. Yeah, I think what Omen thought there was that he had the... What's it called? He had the spike. That's what, that's what he thought over there. Uh, and I, then he TP'd. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? Without being said, it is going to be that 1-0 series lead for St. Clair. So, heading into Icebox. Um, St. Clair, I assume, going to be on the defending side to start us off just because it is... Pr I, okay, so the way I look at it, I think Butler, when it's their map pick, they start on the uh, offense. And when it's not your map pick, you start mm, on the defense. No, I don't think it works like that. It works of... Okay, if I ban this map, you get to choose if you're defending yeah, or attacking. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. most teams will pick defending based on what map it is. If it's a two-site map, you're most likely going to pick that defense side, right? So uh, we see it here on Icebox. A two-site map, I'd assume Saints would pick a defense start because if it's, I assume it's Butler's often, uh, Butler's pick. Uh, so yeah, uh, we should see the Saints starting on defense here. And with that being said, I mean, it's... Oh, we got a patch in Valorant, so we have to go to a break. Uh, a little bit unfortunate in the midst of our game, but with that being said, we are going to be getting ready to go into Icebox here in just a minute. One thing about Icebox, I mean, it's going to be a toss-up in that point. The Saints are defending on the defending first side uh, could be crucial, so we'll see what happens. Without being said, Jay, it's going to be the Saints leading 1-0 in this series, and we'll be right back with you guys in just a minute with some more St. Clair Saints Valorant. Lockdown on hold. He's at 150 HP. He will fall off. Does spot a little bit of intel. Trying to find some blind shots, but nothing gonna connect. Yeah, Astra. Astra's one kill away from having uh, their all. Yeah, so this, this setup, look at this. This it just allows them to just spray through all these at stars and whatnot. And Lemonade Win will find one. Spray through all these at stars and whatnot. And Lemonade Win will find one on Blossom there. But now in a one on three, this Sage got to seriously consider saving. But that's not going to be a possibility when Casper is going for a knife. Here it is. And there it is. Casper going to clean up Deathless from behind. Tried to go B last round. They took their first round loss. It does. It makes complete sense that they're back on A. Yeah, I mean, if they want to rotate, if they can easily Ooh. rotate. Nice shots, but Lemonade Man actually going to answer back with two G-Force. Use the ult, finds one first, he finds one. Both of them going to be coming through from this defending side. That uh, drone dart will uh, really gather some intel. That shocker going to get blossomed out of one HP, but keeps his life. Now a 2v1, G-Force finds the first one. G-Force, he's been one of the better players here throughout this game, but that's Wombat, lines up the... Uh, but these darts are really going to reveal a lot of this information. Casper is weak, but he's here. He does spot a one. That player was flashed as well. The Wombat's going to have to do a lot now in a one on two, and he can't do it from that position. Icy will clean up the picks, and that is going to be Butler picking up a third as we head into our last round of path. The uh, Contest trying to come through here now, but the smoke's going to be big. Decan on a flank finds the Sova being G Force. He's the top breaker for Butler. Taking him out of this round is crucial. And Icy going to answer back with one on a Blossom. But V can the right clicks get him a 3k. Now Casper on site finds the Sage, cleans that one up. Unlucky timing there for the Saints. They're not going to catch first. He's getting a breast up on here on Casper. But Casper finds it no problem. Five on four for St. Clair. Looks like that they might be pushing. Oh, the bomb is A. Oh, Blossom. Oh, my goodness. Going to try to find some blind shots through the smoke. They do take down one player. Last two are going to be in Garden. And the Sage going to get spotted out. And there it is. Casper 2 with the shoddy. St. Clair going to pick up an 11th. And it's getting to a point now where it's going to be like Yoru. Yeah, that was a very 200 IQ Yoru pop. Yeah, Yoru just goes on, on top now. Ooh. Yeah, uh, uh, Casper just kills Icy. Does he have the time? Oh, he has plenty yeah. of time. Um, you know, something that we talked about already uh isn't a very picked character and coming through here and top breaking for both sides is crazy you might see it more in the rest of the series but we'll find out blossom on the flank is massive finds one finds a second the lineup's there almost a third on the own kills it now v can in a 1v1 the spike is stuck here and it's all up to the omen to come and do this the omen where is it going to be located it is not possible that is going to be st Clair winning this one that is game one